Ooh. Oh. Oh. There is a stir fry setting. But that is a lot of smoke. And I don't know why. I, I don't I don't like that. I did not expect it to go like this. If I hear the fire brigade, I guess I'll head home. Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Hope you are well. Do you remember that budget Audi fryer? Tuck. Genuinely, this cost me nine pounds that I've been using recently in videos. It's an absolute bargain. It's only a mini fryer, but it is stonking. I was in Audi the other night buying my fruit and veg and I stumbled upon, Whoa. this is by the same brand. It is a 49 pounds bread maker. And it doesn't just make bread as hopefully we'll discover during this video. Now, as this is my first rodeo with a bread maker, I'd like to review other ones going forward potentially, but this is just to see if it's any good, a lot like the fryer. I will be giving it away on Patreon, but it is quite the beast indeed. I mean, it's massive, but it's actually quite light. A little bit like how Andre the Giant came over when he kept getting like lifted by wrestlers half his size. You guys like it when I chuck in wrestling references. Basically, it's like, it looks massive, but the um, bread actually gets made in this sort of bucket thing here. It's literally that. I mean, that does kind of look like a loaf of bread. I just, there's a there's a stump at the bottom. A few other bits as well. It's like random thing. Is that like a dough hook? Apparently this doesn't go in there. It's just literally uh, this thing, which is called a kneading paddle. Straight on there like that. All right, so this thing is just called hook, uh, which is for removing the kneading paddle. So it does give you this like diagram here about the order to do it. So you put your fluids first, then your flour, and then you put a little bump at the top of the flour to keep the yeast particularly away from the salt at first. What I didn't realize is that bread machines take absolute hours. So my plan is to get a first batch on, then go and walk Boston, which he's very excited about. Hopefully come back to some more bread and then spend the rest of the day and potentially overnight uh, making some interesting things. Let's make some quick bread. Here we go. So I have got the liquid first, apparently. This is just going to go right in like that. Oil, uh, some room temperature water. Yep, that's the salt. This is an instant yeast, three and a half teaspoons. I've never used that amount before for bread. And this is sugar, which we know yeast absolutely loves. So we need to keep that well apart. So the salt and the sugar can go in and um this is 500 grams of bread flour yeah i've just got some on the heating element oh, i'm gonna have to clean that out whoops it does say to do it with it in position like this but i think i'd rather have done this bit on the work surface oh yeah i've got some flour in there hang on a minute let me get that out i'm gonna take my measuring spoon here and just make a little indent here a little island now the yeast we could got like this little pocket for that to go straight into and that is it so lid goes down and there's all these settings which I'll come to in a bit but we're going uh, for number two which is quick bread and I think we just press the menu button two yep so it's gonna be two hours not sure if you can see that and for such a cheap gadget it's actually got like 500 750 grams or one kilo so we changed the weight that's moved across to a kilo and added just for an extra 250 grams just five more minutes and then it's got a color setting uh, which is light medium or dark and i'm gonna go for dark for a nice browned crust so that is your crust setting if you want nice and light i don't know how it does that and it could be a bit risky because i guess it's just based on the heating element how hot that's gonna get <laughs> and where is the crust because all the heat's coming from underneath this is all new to me and then we just press start It's actually kneading the dough. Can you see that? Very, very reflective. I don't know how much of that you can see. Right, it started. Hopefully in two hours, we'll have some quick bread. This machine though has 19 settings. So you've got basic bread, quick bread, which is what we're doing, which is still two hours. The basic bread was four hours. Sweet bread, which has got milk. Uh, French bread, which for me, I'm not gonna do, but it was pretty much identical, but just a little bit more oil. The times, or identical. I don't, I, didn't, I don't know. Whole wheat bread, which you might try. Basically because it's got this on the box and that's the closest to that. And I'm like, how the heck are we gonna make it look like that? We'll worry about that later. <laughs> Rice bread, gluten-free bread, dessert bread, whatever that is. There's a mix mode, there's a dough mode, which is pretty cool. I guess if you wanna make a, a dough. There's a knead setting, which is probably what it's doing now. There's a cake setting. Oh yes, we're gonna make a cake in this thing. Jam, we made jam recently. I normally do it in the pan, but I can see how that would work. A yogurt setting, we've had a yogurt maker. You can see how that would work. A bake setting for baking anything. 
sticky rice setting, a rice wine setting to make your own rice wine, a defrost setting, and then finally, there is a stir fry setting. And of course, being Barry, I'm gonna get my bread maker, I'm gonna make bread first of all, and then of course the natural thing to do is to stir fry, can you see that? Some peanuts. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't wanna scare anyone, but it's now at the stir stage, and there is a distinct smell coming out of that. I think though, that is the heating element starting to work for the first time and emit that factory scent. It does actually say that in the warnings along with uh, that no one under eight should use this. <laughs> it's interesting to think that whilst I'm walking Boston, uh, that there's an appliance that I've not used for the first time, probably in the heating stage right now. Uh, and hopefully, there's no smoke alarms going off. If I hear the fire brigade, I guess I'll head home. All right, 47 minutes left to go and it's just risen and almost hitting the screen and the smoke has returned quite intensely. Um, I, it's not burning the dough because that's all still safely inside. In fact, you might well just see it from this angle, the, the actual bucket, but that is a lot of smoke. And I don't know why. I don't. I don't like that. Um, but there's no dough outside of the bucket yet to catch fire. This is. I. I did not expect it to go like this. <laughs> we'll see. We have got one minute, or probably less than that, left now, and it's still on the bake setting. Apparently, after that, it drops down to the keep warm mode, uh, which we can optimally, if we want. Oh. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. Whilst that's been doing its thing, I've actually uh, used another gadget we used recently, the rice cooker, to help with our rice bread. I poured some rice and water in there, got it cooking away, and we need a little bit of that measured out and cooled down to one side to make rice bread. And that is all of those things over there. Got my wire rack ready. Let's get that bread on it. Ah! Woo! Blimey, yep. Yeah. That, that metal bit, yeah, that's hot. I've actually, I've got, <laughs> got it here. It's like a space shuttle. Wow. Oh, <gasps> it's, <laughs> I don't mind. It's, it's not really made that much of a dent, but that's a loaf of bread, folks. I think it's definitely worked. It's a little bit scorched there, but kind of made toast at the same time. So I'll let this fully cool on here. I'll clean this out. And we'll start stir frying and then get a slice of this. It is mode 19, which is a default of 30 minutes, but we could actually increase it up to two hours. I am not gonna do it for that long. I just heard it go, oh, and again. Peanuts roasting inside a bread maker. Well, I'll keep you posted. Or should that be toasted? Look how hot that is. That is lightsaber territory, folks. And you guys know I love Back to the Future. <laughs> Boston is the bread maker. Oh, they are slightly browned. Mmm, wow, that is real. Mmm. It's definitely done it. They've been worn through. They've gone slightly sort of chalkier in texture. But yeah, um, I just stir fried some peanuts. But anyhow, we have got the uh, kneading paddle thing back in. So let's get that salt in, the sugar, the oil, and the water. And then just like before, adding in uh, the cooked rice, some of the flour. I'm gonna be a bit more confident with this now because we're doing, not doing it over the heating element. And then put that yeast in there. A wallop in two hours and 45 minutes, we should have some rice bread. Although, there's one final setting. The first few ones, the different breads, there's a bit where you can start to add in filling. So I was tempted to add in the peanuts. I've got some fruit, so we might stick some raisins in. It'll beep when it tells us that. So I just had to show you this. It looks like a massive rice ball. I mean, it is, in a way. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. crunchy. It is charred that end though, isn't it? Yes. Oh! oh. <laughs> a hole in it. It's a hole. It is going quite way into it, isn't it? Look at that. Oh. That's a good crunch on it. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is lovely. 
Mm. That is so light and airy, isn't it? Oh, that's so nice. Yeah? So fluffy and soft in the middle. Mmm! Mm. Fresh bread every day now, please. That's Mrs B's lunch. Mmm. I might have some rice bread. It's flashing ad. Look at that. So that is raisin rice bread. They didn't tell me to put the raisins in, I just wanted to try the mix thing and it's worked quite well to be fair. Oh wow! That looks like a proper like artisan style loaf. So I'm gonna let that cool down. I'll clean this out and then we'll get a cake on. This is gonna be a cake that's made with yeast. I don't think I've ever done that before. So you have three eggs and a fair bit of sugar. We're gonna whisk this through until the sugar dissolves into the egg. Some more oil, two tablespoons of water, then the flour. Woo! And then we put the yeast in as well. Well, is cake. Two hours, 20. Start it. Uh, that's got two hours. I'll let that cool down for another 20 minutes or so and try that. And we'll see what this cake turns out like. <laughs> oh, hang on a sec, I've just got to show you, look. It is like proper cake batter now. I love how it's doing everything though. This is beyond bread, all right? The mix button just came on, so I'm gonna add in some more raisins. I've only got a few left. I was thinking now, oh, we could put chocolate chips in. Get in there, go on. Anyhow, do you want some rice bread? Yes. A good crust on it. Ooh. Oh, that's good. The raisins haven't sunk to the bottom. Mmm. It's a weird, um, oh gosh. It's more gummy. It's more stodgy. I've got a bit of like, <laughs> I can feel it. That might be the half a kilo of bread that we're eating today. <laughs> it doesn't really warrant having the raisins in though, I don't think. I like the raisins. Yeah, it adds a bit of sweetness, but the rest of it is, is very savoury, I'm finding. Mm. I think that toasted with a little bit of butter on and a nice mug of English tea. Mm. That would go down rather spiffing. Anyhow, do you want to join me again in about an hour's time for some potentially, well it's not cooked yet, chocolate raisin cake. Okay. One minute was just up. Oh my goodness. Look at the state of that. It is much more like bread than a cake. Which is kind of what I was expecting in a bread maker to be honest, with yeast. Let's um, let's get that out. Come on. But this is not wanting to move at all. Brilliant. Oh my gosh, it's proper welded to the sides here, folks. Oh, here we go. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh no, my paddle's in it as well. It's actually baked into it, look, there it is. It doesn't look too bad like that, actually. We have got to get this out. Oh, it's gonna be like an operation in itself. That thing was spinning around so much, I think it screwed itself into the cake. Uh, so, here we go. I think this just goes in at an angle, and then we can, hey, there it is. <laughs> ah, that is so hot. Why is everything so hot? Oh, I know, because it's an electrical appliance, but, we have got that colour there. I know it sounds a bit weird. I still want to taste it. I'm going to let it cool down and we'll have a little nibble. Can we just give a shout out to this? This has been an absolute beast today. <laughs> it's like a loaf again. Ooh. Is it like a loaf cake? You know, like a... Still warm. Uh, you know you get like banana bread. Is it like, like that? I mean, there's a bit of oil in it, but it doesn't look very moist, like a banana bread. It looks orange. <laughs> very, very dense and quite dry. That's heavy. <laughs> it's three eggs and a mountain of sugar went in. All right. So it should be quite sweet. It's gotta be sweet. And you put the chocolate in. I think it's like a soaring okay. kind of malt loafy yeah. bread. Yeah. It's a bit rubbery. I can taste the chocolate. Tastes like a chocolate car sponge. That is, just, no. And that is one of the reasons I'm not pushing this any further in terms of doing the jam and all that stuff. 
Well, it's a safer bet. I love the idea of making a cake in this thing. It's not your classic sponge. Maybe that's how it's it not. needs. Maybe it needs a load of icing on it. But that wasn't why I bought a 40 quid bread maker. It's caught me out. I'm like, do you know what? Mm. I will see if I can do it. And I, some, normally these things kind of work all right, but I would fully say not to do that. It's a bready cake. It's a bready cake. It is. But rice bread all day long. That was nice. Well, thanks for watching, folks. We're going to do one more test of this, but it's going to be an overnight thing. Um, we're going to do the bread so you wake up and it's ready. So obviously there's no time on this. You don't actually set it. The only thing that could fail it would be if there's a power cut tonight. After 10 minutes, it resets. If there's a nine minute power cut, we're going to be all right. Uh, but what you basically have to do is, uh, it, like it says in the manual, like it's half past five now. If we set it to 12, so 12 hours time, that means that at half past five in the morning, mm. it will be ready. So if it's a four hour recipe, it will start at 1.30 in the morning with the 5.30 oh, finish, see. if that makes sense. You've got like a time delay. That's yeah. clever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we'll do as the bonus scene. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, but for 40 quid, this bread maker, I think it's, I mean, we're gonna give this away to Patreon, but I might genuinely get the same one. Don't give it away. Cheers, guys. Uh, Mrs. B, thank you so much. Let's get this bread ready. Need problem. That was awful. Mrs. B has chosen wholemeal bread. And goes that salt. Gosh, that's a lot of sugar. Now both the flours, bread flour, and this is gonna be wholemeal bread, so we're sticking in some wholemeal flour. Now because on the box it has got that lovely oaty finish, that is gonna be really hard to achieve. Particularly as when we set this, it might start early hours of the morning when we we're asleep, and by the time we get out of bed, it might be like, put the nuts in, or the fruit, or in our case for this, it would be the oats. We'll put a little bit in now just in case, all right? So like half of that. All right. So that's just in there to go in there, kind of like if we miss that fruit slot, which I think is highly likely. <laughs> All right, the yeast is going into our nice little pocket again. Put the lid down? Yeah. So what we do know is the weight is the full kilo and it's going to be uh, wheat. So number five, that's four hours. That is a four hour bake, mate. That's hopefully gonna be some good bread. And do you want a medium crust? I think we go safe. I think yeah, we go medium just to get- medium. Yeah? It's quarter to six in the morning. If we want it, so we have quarter, quarter to nine? Would you like your bread ready for quarter to nine? That's very precise, okay. So that would be 12, 15 hours. 15. Which is the maximum it does. So, in 15 hours, we are gonna have the bread ready. It'll still be warm, so we've gotta let it cool down. Yeah. But that's gonna be awesome. Okay. We're gonna wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. 11 hours from now when the cycle starts is quarter to five in the morning. If that wakes me up, if that wakes Boston up, he'll probably be in our bedroom so he won't. I'll try and nip out and drop in some more oats for that stirring, but if I miss it, at least we've got some in there now. So we'll see you in the morning and uh, I'll leave the camera out in case those beeps wake me up, but I think, I think it'll do its thing and um, I'm excited. Me too. It's like being in a hotel. Good morning. Morning. Did you get woken by a bread maker? No. I didn't either. No. Uh, that's, I've even got the oats here left to be like, oh yeah, I'll put them in at five in the morning when it beeps, and it didn't. It has actually worked. It's a little bit more gummy looking. It's got one minute left. And meanwhile, we've got some toast from the first bread we made yesterday. Do you want to try it, Chloe? Oh, that sound. It's crunchy. Mm. Oh, that is good. So this is coming out in about a minute and we will see. Oh my God, oh, like now. No. Do you want to lift this up? Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Oh gosh, that face does not look very good. Uh, it's okay. I was oh. a bit like, ooh. Uh, it's risen up and obviously hit the screen again. And we put slightly less yeast in that it called for, but the main thing is it stayed in the bucket. It looks like it's got water in the middle. Oh. oh, and we've still got our hole. <laughs> See, that's the only thing I don't like. Is that common with most bread makers? Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Wow. That's really good. Like light? Yeah, soft. 
Mmm, the crust is brilliant. Mmm. Wow. So all in all, it might sound a bit obvious, probably don't stir fry in your bread maker, maybe don't make a cake in it, but in terms of bread, 40 quid bargain. So good luck to the patron that gets that, and uh, that definitely gets our seal approval. We're actually gonna make some French bread ourselves now. Uh, so I might show you very quickly what that turned out like. And this should just, yeah, we go, look at that. Oh, and the paddle is safe. For the last 24 hours, my house has smelled like a bakery. Okay, the nuts and cake aside. That is probably one of the lightest and airiest that I've done in terms of how it feels. Mm. That is gorgeous and the crust isn't too overpowering. What an absolute bargain for 40 quid. I know there's probably other bread makers that can do so much, and maybe I'll look into that. But I bloomin' enjoyed this. It's been a long old session, this. Hope it was useful. Don't make a cake in it.